How did things ever get so far? I don't know. So unfortunate. So unnecessary. So tell you lost a son. And I lost a son. I quits. And Tatalia agrees. I'm willing to let things go on the way they were before. We're all grateful to Don Corleone for calling this meeting. We all know him as a man of his word. A modest man. He'll always listen to reason. Yes, Don Barzini. He's too modest. He had all the judges and politicians in New York, and he refused to share them. Well, when did I ever refuse an accommodation? All of you know me here. When did I ever refuse? Except one time. That's because I believe this drug business is going to destroy us in years to come. I mean, it's not like gambling or liquor or even women. It's just something that most people want nowadays. It's forbidden to them by the pets and of the church. Even the police departments who have helped us with gambling and things. They don't refuse to help us with this, with narcotics. And I believed that then. And I believe that now. It's not like the old days where we can do anything we want. A refusal is not the act of a friend. If Don Corleone had all the judges and politicians in New York, then he must share them. He must let us draw the water from the well. Certainly he may present a bill for such services. After all, we're not communists. <laughs> I also don't believe in drugs. For years I paid my people extra not to do that kind of business. Someone comes to them and says, For four, three, four thousand dollar investment, we can make fifty thousand distributing. So they can't refuse. I want it controlled as a business. Keep it respectable. 